Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? It's been a week. Oh, look who's being consistent. Yeah, me. So today, or tonight technically, we are going to do a fashion review. Yay! Like every other basic bitch out there. Because, well, I feel like I'm entitled to, you know, doing this video because I am a uh, fashion major. Not only am I a fashion major, but I did graduate as a fashion major. So, I, I think I'm qualified. <laughs> and definitely I am qualified. No, definitely I am qualified. Yeah. Without further ado, we're just gonna get this video started and look at the SAG or the Screen Actors Guild Awards fashion. AKA the red carpet from, you know, earlier tonight because I have no life. So why not? Let's get it started. <laughs> First off is going to be Miss Mandy Moore. Now Miss Mandy Moore is in a blue gown made by Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Simple, her little clutch is cute, it's blue. Not real, it plays with me. We'll go to the next one. Next is of course Miss Reese Witherspoon. Now Miss Reese Witherspoon, uh, that's a tongue twister, is in Zach Posen. Now for you know those fashion fans, Zach Posen is on Project Runway, he's a judge. He's that dude on there. No, not Tim Gunn, the other one. Okay, that one. Now, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous green gown with a chevron design. It's like, what, three tones of green? And oh, girl, those greens are just giving me life. And I love the off the shoulder. And he has kind of what's trending, which is a, uh, a bell sleeve, but it's like a three quarters bell sleeve. And I just, I love it. She's so modest and she's just. What a lady should look like. If you want to be a sucia, that's not what you look like because, girl, if you want to see what a sucia looks like, <laughs> let's just go party. Okay, you guys. So next up is Miss Gina Rodriguez. Miss Gina is looking so cute in a Rosario. It's very, you know, kind of, it reminds me of a, whatchamacallit, uh, glass stained windows. Simple, chic, just like her. I think this is the perfect gown for her, honestly. It's just adorable and kind of has hints of what's trending, like very floral, <coughs> Gucci. I mean, if you look at the Gucci ad, very floral. Next we have Lupita Nyong'o. I'm sorry, girl, if I butchered it, I'm real sorry. She is in my favorite which is Ralph and Russo. Now, Ralph and Russo, you guys, look at this gown. First, let's talk about this gown. This gown is a gorgeous metallic with some gorgeous feathers at the bottom. It's a mermaid dress, so you know, girls, it's always trending with mermaid dresses. Like, yes. And Ralph and Russo makes gorgeous designs. Like, my favorite thing of theirs is their shoes. Like, look at those shoes. Look at them. Look. They go with just, they go with just shoes. Mm. And so I love Ralph and Russo, honey. Y'all can, yeah, just Google how much those shoes are. <laughs> now we have Tracy Ellis Ross and Ralph and Russo as well. And ah, just look at it. Look at how elegant and just chic, gorgeous she looks. And she just looks strong and powerful, just how a woman should be embodied in a dress. Is that a pantsuit or is that a dress? I think that's a dress. Either way, it's gorgeous. I love it. Ooh, okay, this girl, Allison Brie. I don't know what she's doing, but girl, you need to get your life together because it's some weird red dress that's going with some weird stuff on the side and I'm just I'm not feeling it right now. I'm not, and it's like, I don't know, are you part of Katy Perry's, you know, entourage? Are you about to do some weird futuristic, I don't know, number? <laughs> Bam! We have Kate Hudson and Valentino. Girl. Girl, I, this dress is giving me life. I love it. I love the color. I love the pink. I love the polka dots. I love the Victorian-esque of it. I just, ugh. It's a gorgeous gown. You're not showing any skin. She's being completely modest, and I just, I love it. She looks like royalty. 
Okay, you guys, so I saw this one on Twitter while I was trying not to know look up stuff, but BAM! Look at Mary J. Blige. Look at this lady. She is in Jean Lou Savage. I think that's how you say it. It is just giving me life. This ombre effect with these, I think, feather s things. It's just it's going so well. It she, she just looks so gorgeous. Ah, uh, girl, you got a ten out of ten for me. Like I love it. Just ugh, those curves. Even that sleeve is just going per. I just I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's it. That's all I have to say. I love it. Okay, another one that I love. God, they are just, you know, doing it tonight. It is by Ralph and Russo. It is Allison Williams. Allison Williams is in another, you know, Ralph and Russo, like I said. It is gorgeous. She looks, she looks like a chandelier, honestly. But come on, who don't want to look like a chandelier? Because chandeliers are expensive. And no, I'm not talking one of those cheap ones. I'm talking one of those pristine ones that has 10,000 diamonds on them. Costs like $5 million. She looks like a million, five million bucks, to be honest. Look at it. I bet you that thing is super shiny in person. Mm, I love it. Oh, girl. Girl. Next we have Danielle Brooks. Now, Miss Danielle Brooks is just Oh, she is in Mark Bauer. Bauer, Bauer, Bauer. I'm gonna say Bauer. But, oh, look how fierce she looks. She, she looks like the girl on fire, honestly. She is just, ugh, oh, that sequin or glitter or whatever it is. Just giving me the best ombre effect from that dress. It is, it's gorgeous. It's beautifully made, beautifully fitted, construction. Just, I love it. I love it. That's how you do it. That is how you make a dress. Ooh, and that hair, that hairstyle is just giving me life too. I love it. Okay, so now we have Jackie Cruz. Now Jackie Cruz is in Rami Cuddy and oh my God, oh my God. This is literally like 2018 ultraviolet Pantone. Bam. It's just, it's, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous, like the metallic at the top and how it's super shiny and then just these feathers that are going on and I see one, two, three, four, five ombre effects, different kinds of purples that just oh are gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Yes, Jackie, you got it. Okay, you guys, well, that's all I have for you tonight. I thought there would be more, but we got through quite a few. Okay, so. Don't be selfish. I know you want to hang out with me, but I'm just so popular. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Please hang out with me. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned something about fashion and what to look for in a dress. It's one of my favorite things to do. And of course, I'm going to be doing it all throughout award season. I know, I know. I miss the Golden Globes, but it's okay. They all wore black and it's kind of hard to, you know, judge that throughout the rest of this award season where I'm gonna be doing the Oscars, I'm gonna be doing the Tonys, I'm gonna be doing the Grammys, the Emmys, the whichever McCullets and the whichever McCullets. Every, you know, award show, I'm gonna do a fashion review because mm, that is what I live for. And I will tell you if something else comes out that is, you know, is just fashion related that I love. If you like this video, leave a comment in the description below as to what was your favorite dress. Or if I missed a look, uh, leave it down there. Like always, make sure you like, subscribe to my channel. Turn on that little bell after you push the subscribe button because I'm gonna be making videos weekly now, Sunday slash Monday. And of course, I don't know what time I'm gonna post, so um, that little bell is gonna be your notification to know when I'm in your life. Please like me. I will see you next week and love you, love me. I will see you later. Only got love for the weekend.